Simon, I don't know what happened there. It kind of went off and on. And, and uh, we're getting started with our topic for today, Action Chases Away Fear. So I'm going to do some sharing and you can welcome everybody. Well, a big welcome to everyone who's joining us on our Facebook Live this evening. And if you are live, we'd love to welcome you personally to the stream. So come on out with your, with your name and where you're streaming in from. Pop your details in the comments. Who's going to get us started? And of course, um, for those that are watching the recording, a big welcome to you guys. Um, love that we get a lot of people watching our recording on Facebook as well, who can't be here live. So we appreciate you and appreciate you uh, picking up the, the recording and just being a part of uh, what we deliver. Peggy Crane says, hello, hello. It's Peggy yeah. from beautiful, sunny WA. Well, g'day Peggy and a big welcome to you this evening. Hello, Kim. Kim from Rabina here on the Gold Coast. Welcome to you. Luan, g'day from WA. Thanks for joining us. It's two in WA, one in Rabina. Sure, Matt. Hello to you. Uh, from Sydney, good to be on the same time zone. Yes, we are. We're yes. on the same time, 7.30 Australian Ooh, Eastern Standard Time. Some people might not realise that because this is the first week we're doing it, it is, on the same time. It is, first week. Time. Oh, well, you've got you to be there or be square, right? That's Michelle right. Collins says, hello from the Gold Coast. Good day, Michelle. Great to have you here. Shani's here from Sydney. She's on the ball. Good to see you, Shani. Mark's here from Melbourne. So he's on the ball. And Sandra, uh, even though the time difference. So 7.30, guys, welcome and great to have you here. Pacifico is here and he's located in Sydney or south of Sydney. So great to see you. Greg Horton's here from Sovereign Island. G'day, Greg. Uh, Yvonne, hello, Yvonne from Sydney. Welcome. Joe Newland on the Gold Coast. Welcome to you. Who else have we got out there? Let us know you've joined us on our Facebook Live. Pop your details in the comments. Love to welcome you personally to this evening stream. And hello everyone on TikTok. Hey. And we are streaming live on TikTok over to the side. So big hi to everyone that's uh, joined us on TikTok. Kevin Fogg. Hello, Kevin. Where are you streaming in from? Let us know. Love to welcome you and uh, say good day hey. from where you are. Lee's just uh, sharing done. our live across our pages. Hello, Karen. Done. Karen's in Mitchell. Welcome, Karen. Great to have you here. Hey, um, hey. So if you've just joined us, a big welcome. Yes. Welcome, Lee. Hello. Thanks for joining ready us. To start. Yeah, we just I was just talking to a gentleman in the UK, actually. You were. Um, moments before we were meant to go moments. live. Just uh, invited, them, invited them to look at our business presentation. So uh, done that. Now I'm here doing a Facebook Live. I, I, hey, I nearly said to him, I've got to go. I've got to get on Facebook. I've got a live to do. And TikTok. Hey, Sue. All right, so, um, let's get rocking. The and joys rolling. of running an international business, right? Yes. Uh, Agatha, g'day from Melbourne, and um, Sue's in Main Beach. G'day, Sue. Glad, glad to have you here. All right. All right, so we've got a great topic, Lee. Action, Action chases away fear. It does. Do you believe it? Action chases away yes. fear. Absolutely. Now, last week we spoke about procrastination. Yes. And that was a, a great topic, you know, great topic to stop procrastinating and uh, I guess teach people what. The downsides of procrastinating, yes. right? Mm -hmm. But first, this week, before we jump into the topic of action chases away fear, we've got to first understand that there is an enemy to action. Mm -hmm. It's confusion. It is. Being confused can be your enemy to action. And of course, we know that action will chase away fear. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about it. Let's explore that for a moment before we get into our main topic. Now, confusion, Lee, is paralyzing. It can be paralyzing to people in life, in business, um, and it can be paralyzing with respect to, with respect to action. Mm -hmm. So if we're wanting to take action, but we are confused, what, do we, what happens? We have no destination. Yeah, people don't, they don't go. They just don't do it. They just don't go. <laughs> <laughs> it creates a quick path to stalled results. In other words, you don't, you don't go and achieve anything because you end up paralyzed, yep. right? It creates frustration. Yep. What else Anxiety. Does it Anxiety. People get anxious about it. They're not quite sure because they're, they're really wanting to take action, but they're confused about what they're meant to be doing, so they just get stuck yep. and become paralyzed. So um, it also creates dissatisfaction. And fear. And fear. And it breeds... Procrastination. Procrastination. Right, which is what we uh, what we spoke about last week. So um, confusion is paralyzing, and it can paralyze any action, but it also breeds procrastination. 
So it's important for everybody to be on a new journey mm -hmm. in your life, in your work, in your love life, in whatever, right? Be on a new journey. Use personal de development as a tool to discover and know what you don't know, right? And what you really want in life. Yeah. So if you don't know what you really want in life, tap yourself into some really good personal development to uncover what it is that you want. Yep. So what do we want to achieve in the next one year, three years, and five years Lots from now? Absolutely. Got some uh, some goals that uh, keep cropping up in front of me in the last couple of days. I've got things we were talking about getting our deck redone at the back yes. of the house and. And we've taken some action on that. Yeah, we have taken action. We've got a quote. A quote came in. Oh, I did it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you haven't told me this. Yeah, yeah. A quote came in, but did I've it asked come him today? to. Yeah, but I've asked him to separate it into two quotes. It came yesterday. Ah, okay. Um, so you the quote didn't was tell on the. Me. Oh no! I, I need to know these things. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I wanted it separated because we've got two options that we can do part A first and part B second and I wanted it shown like that. I didn't want it all as one. So mm -hmm. so anyway, so we've got some goals that we want to achieve. So most importantly with personal development, it, it can assist people in finding their passion. Yes. Uh, what is it that you really want to do in life? What is it that you really want to create in life? What, what sort of life do you want? I mean, we're not here to, we're not here to be put on this earth to just live. No. We're here to break rules. Break records and break through. Break records and break through. What is that by? It's a great quote. It is a great quote. By. But if you're living life in a small game, you want to play a bigger game. So uh, what I would say is uh, you're here to break rules, break records and break through. So how do we do that? Find your passion, right? Use personal development to really uncover what it is that you want to achieve. Um, get clear on what it is that you'd like to be doing in the next one year, three years or five years from now and set put a pen. Put a plan in place. Yep. Um, just like we do when we're setting goals. Um, modify the influences that have led you to where your life is today, right? And we are where we are today in life because of the best choices and the best decisions yeah. that we've made. Mm -hmm. So if we're not satisfied with where we're at, what are we going to do? Make a change. Make a change. How do you, you change your thoughts? Yep. Change your action, your, your, action, your decision making processes. Yep. And if you want something greater, go after it. Mm -hmm. Right, absolutely. So um, I had a change today. You did have a change today. No pink hair. Anybody notice? No, I no, had a change no today. Pink hair, no blonde hair. Back to brunette. Good to see Brunettes you. Brunettes have more fun. <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you back. <laughs> um, find your passion. This can be look. Personal development can be a game changer in your life. It's certainly been a game changer in mine. When I came to this industry 14 years ago, I knew very little about personal development. Thought it was a bit of rah rah stuff, to be honest with you. Yeah, rah rah. Yeah, I, but I got introduced to a movie and a book called The Secret, and uh, and that was enough to spark my interest in in realizing that if you want something greater in life, you've got to go after it. And I was playing life too small. Yeah. Um, I I wasn't clear on what I really wanted to create in the next one year, three years, or five years. I was just doing my best and. Hoping for the best. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Applying myself and hoping that everything works out for the best. Um, but once you get clear on on what you're wanting to achieve in the future in your life, then you can actually get clear on setting some, some targets and some goals. And yep. one of the things that I did when I got introduced to that movie all the way back in 2008, Lee, was I made a list. I sat down and I, I wrote out my dream lifestyle. Like, what would my life look like if I had a genie in a bottle that I could rub the lamp and go, your wish is my command, right? And that's out of the movie, The Secret. So, yeah. so if, I, if I could do that, what sort of life would mm -hmm. I like to live? Where would I live? Mm -hmm. What would I be doing? What sort of car would I like Who to would drive? Be Who would I be with? <laughs> Where would my kids go to school? What, do I want to live on the beach? Do I want to surf? Do I want to drive cars around a racetrack? What, what do I want to do in life? All right? those things. All those things, <laughs> Um, and you've got to get clear on that. And sometimes if we're not clear, see, as adults, we encourage our children to dream when they're kids. Yeah. But then what happens when you become an adult? They get squashed. Yeah. People stop dreaming. Yeah. And they stop, they stop focusing on what it is that they'd like to be because people tell them that they can't do it. Yeah. And people mock them and people, you know, you get stuck in the herd and then all of a sudden you, your dreams aren't dreams anymore. Yeah. Right. So, so it's important to allow yourself to dream, um, even as an adult. You know, once you 
as my daughters say in their 20s, they say, we're now adulting. <laughs> we're adulting, Dad. We're, we're making adult decisions. Adulting. And, we're, and we're doing things that adults do. I'm like, really, are you? <laughs> All right. So, um, so the important thing is, is that personal development can be a game changer. Lee, what about you? Has it been a game changer for you in your life? Yeah, absolutely. Lots of things have changed in my life from doing personal development. Yep. Lots and lots. And when you, and when you uh, got introduced to the industry, we, did you know much about personal development at the time? I, I like you, watched The Secret. Yep. <laughs> so I kind of knew it through there. I'd been to a few seminars and different things from different industries that had yep. personal development and seen some speakers, but it wasn't saying I'd really implemented as such. Yeah, yeah. So you, so you listened, watched. I've heard of it. Heard of it. Um, but never really sort of implemented it into your day-to-day life on a strategic pay- basis. Until I watched The Secret. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, you know, there's an example of, so how do we how do we create change? It's about finding a solution that allows it to educate ourselves that we can create change. Now, confusion can be immediately transformed into clarity because once we're confused about something, We've got to come out the other side and we can seek clarity. Yes. All right? It gives us clarity. We've just got to break through that confusion mm-hmm. and then get clarity. Look and for answers and absolutely solutions. All right. And, of course, doing personal development can create a paradigm shift. Mm-hmm. You ever had a paradigm shift in your life? I think so. Yeah. What about when we got together? I reckon that was a yeah. paradigm shift. <laughs> totally. <laughs> totally. <laughs> that was a big paradigm <laughs> shift. True. <laughs> All right, so uh, create a paradigm shift in your experiences by changing how you see and act in your current situation. Well, we certainly changed what we saw. (laughs) That was was each other. Um, And, of course, we changed the way that we act as well, right? I'd hope so. Yeah, because we we decided not to act as friends anymore. Yes. (laughs) All right, so we're beyond that friendship stage. So then oh, we... we're still friends, Dad. <laughs> we're still friends. <laughs> All right. So then we've got um, cer- certainty and clarity will also eliminate confusion. And this then gives life to purposeful action. So again, I'll read that out. Certainty and clarity eliminate confusion. And it gives life to purposeful action. And of course, our topic is action chases away fear. Mm-hmm. But we needed to understand on the back of last week, uh, on the back of our procrastination topic, we needed to understand that the energy, the enemy of action is confusion. So we need to overcome that first, mm-hmm. right? All right, so let's jump into our main topic, which is action chases, chases away fear. So um, as people, we have a lot of irrational fears. Would you agree with that? Yes. Like in day-to-day like life. Like my fear of tomorrow. <laughs> No, as in tomorrow, tomorrow morning, my appointment tomorrow morning. Oh, all right, okay, <laughs> all right. I don't. Yeah, okay. See, it's not fearful to me. Come on, you're not having it done. <laughs> That's why I'm going with you. Mel was super sympathise with me. She's on. I know she knows. <laughs> I'm going with you to hold your hand. Thanks. <laughs> all right. So, um, so of course, as people, we have a lot of irrational fears, right? And they stem through our mind, through our thinking. And one way to overcome this is to stare your fears down, right? Stare them down and then what, Lee? Stand up to what you're afraid of. Absolutely. Stand up to what you're afraid of. How do you do that? You just do it anyway. Just do it anyway. Which is what I'm doing. Somebody says to you, do you want to do this? Just say, yep, sure. And I'll work it out later. (laughs) It was like anyway. Louise doing intros on the call the other day. Yeah, absolutely. She said it was like a saber-toothed tiger. <laughs> so every every action that we take in life creates a level of control. Right? Would mm-hmm. you agree with that? So yeah. every action we take, it's like every step we take, we feel like we're in control, right? Because yeah. we've overcome whatever it is. I was going to a song then, I couldn't think of the words. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, it's a sting song. Yes. Every it breath you take. Every breath you take. <laughs> every move you make. All right, so um, and, and by doing this, it eradicates fear, and any plan of action will do the same. So one of the things about about overcoming um, fear is to create a plan mm-hmm. and create a detailed plan. So how am I going to plan to overcome my fear and map it out, write it out, right? So some of the things we can do to face our fear, Lee, create a plan of action. Yep. We can begin with the exact problem. So what's the problem that we're fearful of? Mm -hmm. So write it out. What is it? 
And what can we be certain of around that? So there is certainty around that because remember, fear is just false evidence appearing real. Well, I don't know, like for example... And there is other words that say, F everything and run. <laughs> so we got a bit of both, right? You can yes. have it as false evidence appearing real or you can... So, if everything and run. So what can you be certain of? I can be certain that's going to hurt, <laughs> and that's not going to help the fear. <laughs> well, there's certainty that that uh, if you go through with it, there's a benefits to your body. Yes, right? not straight away though. No, but there is. Yes. Right. So, so what what is the what's what can you be certain of? You can be certain of that you're doing it to assist yourself, right? Yeah. Your body, so you're going to have this injection of stuff. An right? iron infusion, an iron so infusion. people are clear. <laughs> I'm not injecting myself with stuff. <laughs> so you have an iron infusion, right? So the iron is good for your body, yeah, right? Because you've got low iron. Yeah. So it's going to give you more energy. So yes. we start to look about, start to talk about, okay, so what can we be certain of? Well, we can be certain that it's improving your iron level. That's going we to can be. <laughs> <laughs> we, we can be we can be certain that you'll be or you'll, you'll be okay, I'll be okay. And that you will actually live <laughs> right so we can be certain of that we can be certain that there's going to be a positive outcome on the other side yes but you have this fear in front of it right piggy wants me to let her know how it goes so the goal Not the right person to ask piggy. <laughs> so the goal the goal to overcome fear is to gain more information around it yeah right understand what the process is mm-hmm Right, so you've understood what the process is. You've rung them, they've, you've spoken to them about it. They monitor you. A doctor stays there while you get the infusion. Some places don't do that. Some do. So, so you've gone through a bit of a, a fact-finding mission, right? Mm-hmm. So that's one of the one of the key elements to overcoming fear is gain more information. Yep. And look at the small steps that you can take. So step number one is drive there. You're driving. Actually, show up. Yeah, I'm driving. driving. <laughs> that's, that's so that you get there. Um, and step number two is go into the building. Mm-hmm. We'll make the appointment. I've done that. <laughs> and actually show up, right? Yeah. So, th- so there's steps along the way that we can take in order for the outcome to occur. Yeah. Now, remember, you are not alone, Lee. No, you'll be there. But I will. But I'm saying <laughs> you're not alone. You're not the first person to no, have an iron infusion. No, people on here said that they've had it. And I know Mel's had it and Joe's had it and whoever there you else. Go. So you're not the first person to have an iron infusion and you certainly won't be the last. No. And you're not alone because there's other people out there that have had it as well, right? Yeah. And they they survived. They did. <laughs> and they're here, to, Just. they're here to tell us about it and to share about it. So, you know, so we talk about face your fear. So these are steps that we take in order to face our fear. Seek answers is another one. You know, make sure you're well informed about what's going on. Now, here's a fact for you. Here's Mm -hmm. a fun fact. Okay. The fun fact is that the greatest percentage of things we fear never come to pass anyways. Mm -hmm. So, it's not going to happen. Great. (laughs) Do you believe that? Do you believe that that's actually the case? Fun Mm -hmm. fact. Mm -hmm. Fun fact. It's a fun fact that kids Because you worry about stuff that... Like the kids going and doing this and it's going to be there and then... Do- what about things that sometimes don't exist? Exactly. Right? So we can, we can manufacture things into our mind uh, and into our brains about things that are going to happen and they actually never happen. They yep. never take place the way we thought they were. Mm-hmm. And then it actually wasn't that bad. Yeah. Right? So fun fact, the greatest percentage of things we fear never come to pass anyways. And there's a great quote here by Mark Twain. Lee, do you want to read that quote out? I am an old man. You should probably should read it. I am an old man and have known a great <laughs> what many are you troubles, to say? but most of them never happened. That's right. Most of them never happened, right? So it's highly probable that you may not even confront what it is that you fear. It's highly probable that you may not even confront it. Yeah, in your life. Because it might not even happen. Right? Oh, that's right. Um, you must deal with what you feel, however, and um, and think, and how the irrational fears affect you on a day-to-day basis. Mm-hmm. And we, they are. They're irrational fears that we yeah. have in our life. Absolutely. And they can hold us back, and they can mm-hmm. hold us down, and they can stifle us. Mm-hmm. Right? But what's our topic? Our topic is action chases away fear. So... How do we overcome fear? We've got to take action to overcome yep. it. 
So your detailed plan raises your awareness of your capabilities in this situation. Absolutely. So you remember that detailed plan, right? Put together what the, what the fear is and then build a detailed plan around it. Mm -hmm. um, and every step, every action that you take towards overcoming that fear will actually build confidence yes. in you mm -hmm. because you're one step closer to beating it, overcoming it, mm -hmm. or proving it that it's not a fear, mm -hmm. right? Proving that it's not even, that it's, that it's an irrational thought. And then we can overcome those irrational thoughts. So um, now it can be, this can be enough to minimize or even eliminate the fear totally. So do you reckon that by doing that, we can eliminate fear on different things in yes. our life? Like, yeah. you know, I'm sure you've had situations in your life where you've been fearful of doing something like bungee jumping. Yeah. Right? You've done that, I haven't. Yep. Um, and you were fearful of bungee jumping? I wasn't as fearful as I would be. You didn't have a choice because you were strapped to somebody I and they was. jumped. This happened. <laughs> but um, that was a good way to I overcome wasn't, the fear. I, wasn't, I wouldn't say I was scared. But you were fearful. I didn't really want to do it. Yeah, but yeah. I wasn't I wasn't as scared as I am of needles. Of needles. <laughs> All right. So fear is what? It's in the mind. Yep. Yeah? It's in our head. Um, so the best way to deal with it is at the is at the head level, is at the mm -hmm. mind level. So you've got to overcome fear um, through what we through the actions that we take. Yep. All right. So be in action. Be in action and you can absolutely eradicate fear in our lives and we can move through and conquer things and create things and, yep. and that's exciting. It is exciting. So that is our topic for this evening. Action chases away fear. Ted says it's not scary until the rubber band breaks. <laughs> that's right. That's right, Ted. That's right. <laughs> absolutely. And of course, uh, they have plenty of rubber bands though. Pretty good ones. Lots, lots. lots, of, lots of them. And there's lots of things that people are fearful of in their life, right? We've all, we all have situations that we overcome in our life around fear and around what we believe to be correct. But mm. like I said, it's, they're irrational thoughts, right? What really do we have to be scared of? Unless it's a big grizzly bear. <laughs> or a snake. <laughs> or a snake, that's right. <laughs> all right, so Gabby Viner says, how amazing does it feel when you're on the other side of fear? Really amazing. Of course it does. It feels like you've conquered something and you've overcome your your fears and you, you you know what was holding you back, that irrational thought. And then all of a sudden you think, wow, well, what was I even worried about? Yeah. That was easy. Or well, maybe it wasn't easy, but maybe it was wasn't satisfying. as bad as you thought it was. Yeah, exactly. So it's uh, a great uh, great topic. Great topic this week. And I um, look forward to... Um, chatting more next week about uh, a new topic. What have we got coming up this week? We've got, uh, we got a bit on. We're going to Cabarita. Oh, we are going to Cabarita. Yeah. We're catching up with friends down over yep. the New South Wales Excited border. about that. Happy news in Queensland today. Woohoo! We won't talk about that. <laughs> yeah, we can. People can all go out, no matter who you from are. From the 14th, from, from next the, Thursday. From, from the 14th. You can actually go places. You can go, you can go places, guys. It doesn't matter who you places. are or what your status is in life. You can you can be treated like everybody else. It's crazy. So we're actually we're actually getting rid of discrimination in Queensland, That's which is cool. which is a pretty cool thing. So here's to here's to uh, here's to the um, removal of discrimination in Queensland. Mm -hmm. uh, as of next week, so uh, so that's a positive in the world, in the it latest is. world it of is a big news. Positive. Uh, we can start booking our nights at the casino. Yeah, that'll be exciting. Um, we've got a lot planned. Going to Cabaretti this weekend, catching up with friends. We've got a lot on the go. Mm -hmm. um, got to make some more calls to the UK. I've got another person to ring after this, mm -hmm. and um, we will be back next week with a yes, brand new topic. Well. Um, yeah, next week's going to be an interesting one, actually, Lee. I'm looking at the topics and. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to be talking about inventing yourself. Nice. How to invent yourself. And uh, it's actually a really big topic. So we're going to do it over a couple of weeks and space it out. So it could be invent yourself part one. could be invent yourself <laughs> part again two. And again. Oh, yeah, that could be really good. We could, we could make those topics like invent yourself and then reinvent yourself and then invent yourself again. That's, I like that. That'd be fun. Instead of part one, two, and three. Totally. All right. So Thanks, we'll, we'll come up with an exciting topic around that, but um, <laughs> that is the topic. Okay. So next week, Sounds invent good. yourself. All right. Well, have a great week, guys. And uh, yeah.
We'll see you same place, same time next week. Seven thirty Australian Eastern Standard Time. Great to have you here. See you then. Thanks, everyone. Have a great week.